Hi, I'm Stephanie from Renovation Baby and today I wanted to show you how we made this obelisk for the garden. You can grow whatever you want up it or plants um, within it to use it as a support, but I'm going to grow my sweet peas. So we had some leftover um, larch from our pagoda battening, so we thought we could use them up for this. You can have it started with three or four struts, whatever you want, we're going to do four. So first off we made the little top, um, so we cut this into nine centimetre lengths and two of these. You then want to glue them together, um, we just used a wood glue but you'll then need to leave them for 24 hours or so to um, adhere together and then this makes them lovely and secure and then this is where you'll screw all your struts into. We actually clamped them together overnight as well to make them really really secure. So then you want to, we just cut these little squares off from the lengths of batten that we're going to use as our main struts. And we put them together in a little four like this because this will give you the guide that you need to use to be able to screw all these main struts in. So we clamp them in this little space here because visualize that these are gonna be like your big long struts. We then drew a little square around them so we could see exactly where they would be placed. We then had our little guides and then this is where we're going to screw in. So we then want to start making little holes to be able to screw the main strut directly into here in the correct place without just guessing it. So you want to do yourself um, a little hole but make sure you do it at an angle because the obelisk will be at an angle. So therefore each leg's going to be at an angle. So create your little holes on these sections here then you can put in your main screws and so please make sure you use outdoor screws because they won't rust and make a mess and you just want to put them at a little angle and just so they're coming through the other end then you can use your little pencil guides to know exactly where the nail is going to come through and then this will then allow you to then screw in the screw into the direct place because you want to make like little pilot holes because it that allows the wood to not split so easily if you make little pilot holes before you screw in your main the main actual wood screw so get those all screwed in we also countersunk um, these screw heads as well so we made a hole with a, a larger drill bit just a little bit bigger so that then the screw heads can disappear into the wood and then you basically want to go all the way through add each one do it step by step and then you'll create your obelisk main structure so this is the four pieces together, all attached onto the main top. Then we used our sander to sand them down. Um, we Some of these pieces have been left out a little bit, exposed to the weather, so they had silvered up like larch does, but I wanted to go for more of a sort of, you know, golden look to bring out the actual color of the actual larch. So here is it all sanded up and this is ready to make your support sections. We actually use a Craig jig, um, which allows you to create pocket holes like these. And it's really, really handy and it makes a really secure um, structure whenever you do it. So you have the little jig like this and it allows you to create two little holes, which you will then screw into your screws and then you will place the two pieces of wood together and you will create a really solid, stable, um, framework we use this for a lot of our wood wood products then you can use a little corner um, vise which holds them together nice and securely and then screw in your little screws straight through into the other piece and build your frame so you want to do this two times with two different sizes all the sizes are down in the description box below or in, uh, or in the blog post so once you've made your framework, you can just literally place it over the top all the way down to when it sort of sits securely. Um, we've actually put our little clamps in the way here so that we had something to support whilst we screwed in directly to the struts. So you want to go in from sort of this angle here. As you can see, we had designed it so that we didn't, you know, they weren't flat against um, the actual main struts. We just had them in like this. So you want to screw through, so you go straight through here, this little frame, into the other one. And then add in your little screw. This is you doing the countersinking of the screw head. So as you can see, just a little bit bigger with a larger screw bit. And then you're ready to do 
the Aptor screws directly into the frame. And you want to do this all the way around into four different sections and then it'd be nice and secure and you can do it for the smaller frame at the top as well like this. So once you've done that, you've got, that's it, you've done your frame. I use the best oil, outdoor oil that you can get and two coats and it looks like this. And it's lovely and sanded, lovely and oiled and ready for my plants to grow up. So I'd love it if you could give me um, a like and subscribe and um, head into the description box to find out more information and to have a look at the blog post. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.